Art Supplies in Rhinebeck and at Say the expanded store at hey, 88 Main we're Street gonna stock in some Mannheim and Newports. Yeah, we are. Rhinebeck Art. It's taking forever. I just woke up. Um, if you guys want to come in here? I can give you a, a preview of what we're doing today. Here you go. You want to pass these around? Yes, the bowl's got a dozen of uh, Atlantic salmon fry in there. That's what we're going to be stocking today. Atlantic salmon were once uh, plentiful in the in the Connecticut River, but they were driven to extinction uh, by about 1800. What caused the extinction was uh, folks building dams for water power. Uh, by uh, the late 1700s, all of the uh, tributaries in Connecticut and Massachusetts uh, had been dammed up. That's where most of the population centers were. And the only salmon habitat left available was up in Vermont, New Hampshire, the tributaries up there that were, uh, weren't dammed up yet. In uh, 1798, they built the first dam across the main stem of the Connecticut River in Turner's Falls, and that blocked access for the salmon to the uh, remaining spawning habitat up in Vermont, New Hampshire. And very quickly after that, the salmon disappeared from the, from the Connecticut River. Uh, then into the 1900s, the rivers became too polluted for anybody to think about uh, salmon restoration. The Connecticut River was a, a real disaster. Uh, and it wasn't until the 60s, 1960s, and 1970s with the Clean Water Act that we uh, cleaned up the Connecticut River to the point where we could once again think about salmon restoration. And uh, this program has been going on since the mid-1980s. Um, we started bringing in salmon from Canada uh, and Maine. Most of the, uh, the fish that we stock were based uh, on fish brought in from the Penobscot River in Maine. Uh, but for the last 10 or 15 years, uh, we haven't brought any new fish into the program. We just breed the ones that come back from the ocean. So every year at this time of year, um, the, fishways at, the fishway at Holyoke is open. Have any of you guys been to the uh, Holyoke Fish Elevator? Yeah. yeah, that's something you really should do if you're interested in, uh, in migratory fish. Um, middle of May, it's probably the best time. You'll see thousands of shad going through there and a good chance of seeing salmon. So when the um, salmon come back from the ocean, uh, this time of year we collect them all and take them to the hatchery because we need their eggs. Uh, we hold them for the summer. Salmon spawn in October, so we'll remove the eggs and the milk from the fish in October, fertilize the eggs. We keep them in the hatchery all winter long. Uh, they hatch in the late spring and at this point, they're using up their yolk sack. If you look at those little guys, they have a tiny little bit of yolk left on them. They're going to be getting hungry, so rather than trying to feed a million fry at the hatchery, we sprinkle them out in the river and let them feed naturally. So that's what you guys are going to do today. The idea is you have got to spread the fish out, so everybody's going to get a bucket full of fish. I'm going to drop you off on the side of the river. You're going to walk downstream about half a mile. As you walk, you sprinkle a few feet out of a few fish out of your bucket every few feet that you go downstream. The river we're going to stock, we're going to do like I don't know, it's six, five or six mile section of the river. Um, there's 15 sections. Each section's probably half a mile long. Uh, each group of you is going to do a section. What the, the little salmon fry, they're going to start eating um, algae and plankton, really tiny stuff. They grow really fast and uh, they'll start eating insects pretty shortly. But that's the reason that we get them in the water right now. Actually, the this is one of the most productive times in the streams before all the leaves come out. There's a lot of sun getting into the stream right now. It's growing a lot of algae and uh, there's a lot of food. Actually, there's less food later in the summertime when the, uh, the canopy's shading uh, the streams and the, that sunlight doesn't get in there. Do any other questions, either about the fish or about how we're gonna get them in the water? What would you say, like 10 little fish every 10 feet? Well, it, it'll depend. I'll tell people when, when we... It depends on the width of the stream. So at the beginning, where the stream's really wide, um, you put a lot of fish in for every as you move upstream. When we get upstream where it's narrower, not so much, but I'll, I'll tell each group when I put them in the water how to, how to do that. This is the salmon parade, as Dad said.
All right, they're lining up all the cars by ticket number. They gave us little tickets to organize who's stocking where. So we're number six. All right, so here we are. We, we uh, got off at this bridge here and we walked down a little bit. There's a mass of trout right under the bridge. Rainbows. Rainbows that look like maybe they've just been stocked. They were all mashing together. So. And we're, we're walking down about a half a mile with our bucket of salmon fry. Thank you. 